I'm sure that the ghost of Al Cabone is none other than Red Herring! Now I'm done. But yo, what's up? It's your boy Amethyst Pudding here with another story time for you. And this one is about the first time I ever smoked weed. And it's kind of an unconventional uh, way of doing it. Um... Also, and I, uh, uh, just a spoiler alert, I did get stoned the first time I smoked. Some people say you don't. I don't know. It just depends on the person, I guess. Uh, but I definitely did, indeed, get uh, get a little shwasted. Not really shwasted. That's a terrible word for it. I'm just fucking stupid. Anyway, let's dive into the story. First of all, uh, uh, the me and Rango were chilling out. I don't know what day it was in particular, but we had the idea to go hang out with at our friend, and he's a newcomer, so we're gonna call him Kimbo. At his house, well, and his place is a um, an apartment, and he lives in an apartment or lived. I don't think he he does not live there anymore for sure. Actually, he lived in an apartment uh, that was a old at our town. It's an old high school that's been pretty much turned into apartments. Which, so some of the rooms look kind of classroom or old classroom-like, very interesting. Uh, his room just looked normal. I guess it was more dwelled in over the time or whatever. I'm not sure how long the time frame was from it being a school to when they actually turned it into the apartments. You know, either way, kind of interesting building, and it kind of looks cool from the outside. Um, it's sort of closer to the downtown in my hometown, but we hop in his, uh, Rango's vehicle and we go over and, uh, I had never smoked, obviously at this point, I didn't even have the, uh, goal of smoking this day or anything. I just wanted to go hang out with him and he was hanging over there. So I said, well, let's fucking, let's, let's go. So we get over there and, uh, let's see here. So it's me and Rango. We're at Kimbo's house. We got, um, friend Walt, old Greg is there. Uh, a new character we're called Ketchum and uh, Otto the guy whom I uh, fucking tripped the shrooms and the other uh, one of my earlier story times way down the line there um, and fucking we're just chilling we uh, watched some we, they were into a Tim and Eric awesome show kick at this point this is before the spooky tales or whatever the fuck it's called that they had for a bit there um adult swim style stuff but tim and eric awesome show is great fucking hilarious like they got fucking brownie mountain but i'm pretty sure that was about when we actually started smoking so before we even get to it they just kind of they start doing the old coercive like oh come on man do it man it's like you know it's whatever it didn't take a lot to really convince me to smoke i was like you know i was so against it uh, for a while in my life but then i kind of grew lax and more you know liberal and more I don't know, progressive like i don't know I've lived a life, so, you know, I let people be as they are, and I say, fuck it, I'll just try it to see how it is. So, um, fucking, we, I didn't even know how we were going to do it or anything, I didn't, obviously didn't have any myself, but fucking, we go over and to this little kitchenette, I call it a little kitchenette, it's very small, small kitchen area, it's like another side of like a little, almost like a, it's like a bar almost, like you have like two, two or three stools. Uh, and then you can go around, and there's a kitchen with, like, you know, microwave, stove, refrigerator, everything. I can see it still in my head right now. Uh, fucking, and te potentially there's another story time to come out of this place, too, later on down the line, potentially. But either way, um, so we go to over to his uh, area, and they get this fucking uh, empty milk jug, and they cut part of it off, and they cut a part in the lid. And they put this bowl into the uh, into the lid, a little, you know, normal bowl, pretty decent size. Um, and then they <clears throat> they start filling up his uh, sink in the kitchen. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I didn't have any fucking clue 
what was going on. Um, and uh, they knew I hadn't smoked before, so they fucking, they were really <clears throat> trying to get me fucking super high, I guess. Either way, they fucking, let the, uh, they put weed into the bowl, you know, the fucking lid part. And you, the whole thing is called a gravity bong. I, in the picture, I put a bucket bong because technically what we did was like a bucket bong, except of, instead of a bucket, this was the bucket was the sink, if you will. So like a sink bucket bong hybrid kind of crazy shit. So we fucking take this uh, uh, milk jug apparatus and you fucking light it and you just slowly pull up. You put, you put it in the water and then you slowly pull up. You want to leave yourself enough of the milk jug or whatever to leave you know enough space to lift out of the water but leaves to leave it in the water but to pull up it's hard to explain it's like you're just pulling it up out of the water but you're leaving it in the water and slowly pulling because the time that it comes out of the water you need to take this little twisty cap off and then just basically slam your head down like you're about to like give yourself a fucking headbutt and then just breathe in that essence, you know, basically. So it was like huge hits. We're talking huge hits. They took, they took a first few before me. Um, oh, you know what I just realized? I was wondering why my lighting was a little off. That's kind of funny. I actually look kind of interesting with the green filter. Now I just look like I'm a creepy man. Either way. Uh, so yeah, dude, we're, I watched them do a few and then it comes my turn to actually do mine. And I take it like a fucking champ. I cough up a storm. I still do to this day. I fucking have not, I have terrible lungs probably. Um, and uh, so I fucking, I just, I, you know, I do one or uh, two. We do two for sure, for sure. Each of us do about two a piece at least because people are just throwing down their weed anyway. So it's kind of free on me. So I didn't even care. But then we went back and there was this game on this uh, Xbox called In the Pit. And it was like literally a sound based game. So it was like <clears throat> everything was based on the sound. So it was just a black screen and you could hear like if you're you basically had to like I think you had to save someone or escape one of the two. But you could hear the creature and I think you could hear like the person you're supposed to save. And like you could, you know, the creature, you could like walk away from its sound to stay away from it. And then like you walk towards the other sound in order to get to, I'm pretty sure. But like when you're high, dude, it's trippy as fuck. Not even really trippy, just fucking intense. You're just like, oh my God, is he going to fucking make it out? Is he going to get out, you know, alive or whatnot? Uh, so yeah, it's fucking crazy. And, uh, so fucking at that point, um, uh, we, he fucking, we're just laughing, having a good time. Then pretty sure this is the time when we put the Tim and Eric awesome show. We watch Brownie mountain and there's a few other good episodes that we just start fucking just getting me cracking up. Um, I'm pretty sure we watched some MXC most extreme elimination challenge. I, I believe just a little bit of that, but the thing that got me really going was he fucking put on, I didn't, I don't know at Xbox PlayStation. I think it was Xbox. Uh, he put on this fucking app. I guess it was an app. That's just a fucking screen. That's just a fireplace, dude. Just a fucking fireplace. Nothing else. I don't even think it had the crackle. It might have the crackle. I don't fucking know. But it was this fireplace, and I do. I couldn't stop fucking laughing. Like I just started laughing, and I couldn't stop. I did. I dude. I I just could not stop. It was just not, dude. I was laugh. It hurt that I laughed so fucking hard, dude. That's how you knew I was fucking blitz creaked out of my fucking skull, man. Like it was actually crazy. This device. <clears throat> this device fucking worked like magic dude like holy god and so like we fucking do some more uh of these uh bucket bong things or whatever you want to call them sink bongs if you will and uh yeah that's uh pretty much that i mean we were listening to some music uh wu-tang clan was a big thing i don't know why it was having a big resurgence that year dude we were just chilling dude we all listened to him for i listened to him before then but like it was like this was the everyone was on that kick dude we were listening to some wu-tang killer bees you know we had in the swarm uh there uh but definitely cream cream was the one that people were jammed yeah shit's great uh Cash rules that think ram. No, that shit's great though. I, uh, but yeah, dude, I remember we were jamming out to that, jamming out to fucking uh, uh, all kinds of you know, just good shit. Fucking you know, 
and just having a blast watching some fucking TV shows and shit. But that fucking fireplace, dude, I quit. I, dude, I actually, like, I think I remember, like, my chest muscles hurt from, like, this, like, like, the, just the laughing. Like, whatever muscles you use to laugh, dude, that shit was inflamed feeling, dude. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, dude, and I knew from that point on, I pretty much wanted to be, uh, you know, smoke weed every day. <laughs> it's a way to cope with life, and it's a way to live. I, I, man, it's like a fucking prescription med for me, dude. <laughs> but either way, you guys have yourselves a great one. I thought you might enjoy my first time getting high. Some fucking pretty good, pretty good shit. Uh, I never, actually, I don't really smoke through a gravity bong or whatever bong you want to call it very often. That was one of the few times I did. So it's kind of funny that the first time I smoked was through that. And it was like one of the only times I ever smoked through that kind of apparatus before. Um, so yeah, just kind of crazy, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay or the marble action in the background or whatever. And, uh, sorry about the cam. It's kind of odd. It's still pretty dark, which is kind of crazy. Ooh, spooky. Either way, y'all have a great one and, uh, stay tuned and, uh, over and out. Great job. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play.